Hi everyone, this is Connie, and this is my newly changed uh, smaller channel. Now is going to be my wood shop and my DIY. So it's Connie's wood shop and DIYs. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, give me a big old thumbs up, and leave me a comment if you would like. This is a very small channel, and I want to get it big like my other channel. So let's get right into this project that I'm doing. And this is part of a challenge that I'll get to in just a moment more of the details. All right, so I have decided I am making like a set of shelves for my bathroom. Okay, so my husband and I, he goes to bed sometimes three to four hours before I do. And so he always pulls out his stuff for the next morning because he wakes up a lot earlier than I do. So he puts his shoes, he has been putting his shoes and his stack of his clothes on the bathroom counter. And I have been sitting my stuff underneath the sink for my pajamas because I don't want to go in the bedroom while he's asleep and wake him up. So this shelf is going to hold those plus my slippers when I'm uh, during the day when I'm not wearing them. So these are uh, one or one by threes. Oh, these are ones that are one by twos. These are going to be the um, the legs, and then I'm going to use one by threes for two of the shelves. And um, I, what I did is I took an old. When I moved into this house, we had an old uh, table leaves that was up in the the attic. Well, I'm going to uh, use those for the two top shelves. The reason why I'm putting uh, slats on the bottom two is because that's where um his shoes and my potentials my slippers or shoes will sit on it so the garbage can will sit underneath it so that way the stuff can just fall off our shoes if there's anything on there now um the i'm making sure that the first shelf is going to give 15 inches clearance for the garbage can to sit under it. But let's get to this information. This is the What Would You Make Challenge. Uh, the other host, I'm a host, and Zaina from OK at Home is another is the other host. Our guest host is Krista from Krista's Crafty Life. Now, if you go down to the description box, down there is going to be the, um, yes, her, all, Zaina's and Krista's, um, channel links as well as the link to the playlist and you're going to want to go check out that playlist because there's going to be some amazing crafters and amazing products being made so let's get right back to mine okay here i am i'm just working at making sure that these are all um measured now i m measure twice cut once now you don't want to mark them all and then go through and cut them. So what I do to make sure that they're all perfect, I cut one and then I use that one to mark the other ones so that I make sure that I have them perfectly perfect. And that way I can check and make sure that they are. So that is what I'm doing, getting those all ready. Now, I'm gonna tell you, on the slats, I was going to do use my uh, Craig uh, pocket hole jig and I did use it on all six or however many there was six or eight but guess what it I tore through the the um, wood and part of it is because the wood is just too soft and so it tore through it and so I end up doing screws um, through from the outside and from underneath uh, because I don't want uh, to see the screw heads so here I am just checking to see how many I can cut from each piece of wood now this was um, I had a eight foot and then another piece of one by three and then I have some one by eight foot one by twos that I'm going to use as that I used for the legs and then the um, shelves is the one by threes so I am just measuring now I was going to tell you you need to check your measurements on everything you use because I have found that they're not exactly right. So I have the tape measure, I have an L, I mean I have a, an L, then I have another little one and they're a, a little bit different. So two of them are the same and then two of the others are the same, but they're not the same as each other. So I 
always make sure that I am using the ones that's exactly the same, right when I do in my measurement. So here I am just marking off um, where I'm going to need to cut stuff. Now I was explaining all this while I was doing it and that's why you see my mouth moving. But there was too much noise, um, outside noise from the road and so I decided just to voice over it. So here I am using my miter saw and I am cutting it. Now this is my table saw and this is my sled cross-cut sled that I made. Problem is, is these pieces won't fit in it, so I couldn't use it. I was hoping, because now I just have to just be very careful and cut the line, because the guard um, is not, I don't have a guard far enough out. So I'm just, I'm bringing up the blade. You always want the blade a little bit above your, your, uh, your wood, so that you know that it will cut all the way through. If not, you'll have a little piece left and it won't be a clean cut. Now another thing about a table saw, you never pull your wood back towards you after it started cutting. Um, you always push it all the way through. You're seeing I'm going to do it right there. That way, because if you pull it back, it will kick back at you. There is a kickback board, or kickback, and that's what I'm showing right there, that will keep it from coming back at you while it's going through the blade. But once you get through it, don't pull it back. That's just a safety thing. So here I am. I've cut that one, and I'm just going to trim up them to the size that I want them to be. I ended up not cutting off quite enough, and that's okay because they ended up being just fine. And this is the top shelf and the second shelf. And um, I don't show it in this video, but after I'm done putting it all together, I do paint it with two coats of white uh, latex paint and so that it will be nice and, and just really good surface. So um, here I am, I'm just getting these, I'm just gonna check them and make sure that they're going to fit into the, you know, into the slots. Sorry, I'm out of the screen, I thought I was in it and I'm not. So I'm just talking about, you know, this pieces you also don't want to stop when you're pushing it through because it will burn it now these because they were table leaves they have the little little pins and holes so I had to make sure that I wasn't going to try and cut through those because it would have broke my blade and if you see my hair moving and you can see that fan remember the last video I hung two uh, fans that hang from the ceiling they look like fans that you would have on stands but they're not they're for to hang from the ceiling so I that's why it keeps it keeps it really a lot cooler so here I am just cutting marking this so that I can cut these little tiny pieces that I need off of these um, uh, boards now a couple of the pieces did uh, like start to lift off because this is not uh, solid wood. I just ended up using some wood glue and I got that all done. And now I am getting ready and I'm going to cut this other one, um, get it all cut and then I can start putting all these pieces together and you will get to see that but you don't get to see a lot of me. You get to see my project really really close up. So um, yeah, and don't forget to wear safety glasses and all the, the safety stuff. Yes, I did not use my push board because I did not want it to um, mess up. And I realized I need to cut one more time. This is a, the other piece, so I'm just going ahead. And I didn't use the push board because I wanted to have complete control over it going straight down this line so that it is done. And you can see I placed my hands completely away from the blade so that my hands do not hit into the blade at all. All right, now we're going to, I always put the blade down for safety reasons, and I unplug the um, the table saw so that it, no, what, no matter what, it's not going to accidentally get turned on and hurt me. So here I am sanding all of the pieces that cut them all, and I'm just getting them all sanded. I'm using um, 60 weight, or 60, I guess you could say weight, I don't know sandpaper and um, then you go to 120 to get the really super super smooth and so here I am just doing all of the sticks 
and then I am going to, as soon as they are all done, then I ended up putting all of the uh, pocket holes in, and um, I didn't use them. Now I am marking where I need that bottom shelf to be, because remember, it has to be 15 inches above the trash can so that we have um, plenty of room to put stuff into the trash can. So that's why I did that. And then after that, I am going to measure for each one of the shelves to make sure that I don't have, that I have plenty of room for. My husband's shoes are bigger than mine, so I had to make sure I had allowance for that, plus his stack of clothes, my clothes on top. So it ended up turning out perfectly. And so that is what I am working on, getting that all done. And I didn't worry about, um, uh, you know, do anything. I am using wood glue and um, I am putting all these clamps on here so that I can clamp them all and screw them out in from out the back. This is the side pieces and then I will put the slats over top. Um, now these side pieces are the one by threes or the, the shelf uh, braces are one by threes and the side is one by twos. I figured out later that I probably, I wished I had it done it the opposite way, but I didn't have enough one by twos to do four, and I had plenty of one by threes. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just getting it on, and I'm going to, um, once I put these all on with the glue, I'm going to make sure they're all braced up, and then I'm going to start screwing the um, screws in from the outside. And then um, I will put it, start putting it together with the slats. It looks going to look like two ladders before I um, put those uh, the slats on there. But it ends up look turning out perfect. I mean, it, it's a I did perfectly. I started to second guess myself, thinking I was making it too tall, wasn't doing it right. It worked, and I hope you guys enjoy this new. Uh, it's not a new channel. It is a channel that's newly changed. I never very put very many videos on this channel. And so my other channel is now just for my art. And this channel is for my woodworking and my DIYs. I won't be doing as much of them. Maybe once, one or two a week. Um, but on my art channel, I am doing three a week. Or two and a one live. I do two lives a month. So here I am just working away and I'm going to let you watch me do it.
okay, you saw me. I am putting on those slats on those two bottom shelves, and then I'm going to put the top shelves on. Like I said, I'm screwing from the bottom so that uh, there's no nail nail head scratch or screw heads um, that's going to catch on our clothes. And that is what I am doing, and I'm getting this all uh, finished, and then I will show you what it ends up looking like in the end. Like I said, I hope you guys really enjoy this new journey that I am taking. You want to remember to subscribe. I have less than 200 subs on this channel, so I definitely am um, hoping to get more subscribers. I would like to at least get to the 500 so I get a community tab because right now everything that I want done on it, I am having to put it on my other community tab, which isn't working as well. So just help me get to that other 500 and I'm going to sit and let you watch. See, you can see how it looks here. And then all I have left to do is put that, the t there's the second shelf. Um, I already put that on, screwed it. Now I'm putting the top shelf and then the painting, which I didn't show. And then you will see the end result. I hope you really like this. What would you make um, project? And don't forget, like I said, go down to my description box, check out the playlist, check out uh, the uh, Zaina, as well as Krista, um, amazing crafters. So um, you guys have a fun or enjoy watching me do the rest of this. Here is a couple of shots of what it looks like in the bathroom. Uh, you guys have the most blessed week. Uh, call somebody today and just check in on them, see how they're doing. Sometimes that's all someone needs to hear is that somebody is thinking about them. And also, don't forget to be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye.